Welcome to Genium. Genium is an interactive chronological visualization system designed to analyze, visualize, and compare historical or any other time sequence data. In this example, we'll show you how easy this is. You can see the map of the world filling out most of the screen. You can pan the map simply by clicking on it and dragging the mouse in the desired direction. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. Another method to navigate the map is via navigation controls in the top part of the screen. The map is composed of several layers that can be hidden or visible, and it changes dynamically as time passes to provide historical background for the data. Different parts of the map have different resolutions, up to 500 meters per pixel, to optimize system performance. In the bottom part of the screen is the control area, where you can see the title of the topic, current point in time, content controls, and selected timelines. Points on the timelines represent events that will be shown on the map at a given time. Points are shown as low and high, where high points are those that match the selected level of detail. By double-clicking on any point, you can focus on that event. The content controls are separated in two groups. The first one is the toolkit and the second is the time navigation. With the toolkit, you can access Topic Description, Timeline Manager, Map Layer Configuration, Setup, and Questions Page. Time navigation consists of a set of control buttons, playing speed control just below them, a horizontal scroll bar below the timelines, The control buttons are Skip to previous high point Skip to previous point Stop and restart topic Play pause Skip to next point Skip to next high point Playing speed can be adjusted during play or while paused by clicking on the plus and minus signs. The lit dots between them represent the selected speed. By dragging the horizontal scroll bar, you can manually move through time, and by dragging points next to the scroll bar, you can zoom in and zoom out of the time period shown. When you press play, time is incremented in steps defined by the timelines, and when a point on the timeline is reached, that event is shown on the map. High points and use of skip controls for time navigation automatically pause the time. Location on the map is marked by an icon and the title of the event, and that title can expand to include a short event description and a time remark for that event. If the event has available multimedia, it can be accessed from there. Multimedia can be of different common types, textual, pictures, audio and video, but it can also include hyperlinks to online resources and several types of questions that relate to the event. Other timelines that are related to that event can also be shown as part of the multimedia for that event. The timelines that are shown simultaneously are selected using the Timeline Manager that lists all the timelines within a topic. By selecting the timeline, you can see its statistics and description and decide if you want to include that timeline. You can sort selected timelines using the appropriate arrow button. You can also reach the Timeline Manager and other tools from the toolkit for any multimedia window invoked from the events on the map. This basic information is all you need to use Genium efficiently. Thank you for watching and we hope that you'll enjoy using Genium as much as we enjoyed developing it.